Hey y'all, Venture Brad here, and I wanted to show you how I converted uh, the Starlink router, aka toaster, or am converting it to uh, DC only power. So uh, yeah, step one, uh, is plug it in, turn it on, use it. The thing gets naturally warm. They, they refer to it as toaster. You flip it over, um, and I did it outside because I didn't want to get glass in case I broke it, but there's like this tempered glass thing with the earth to mars whatever um trajectory to get between them two because yeah elon um anyways i pulled it apart uh it's really easy to do by sticking a putty knife uh down under the corners i watched a video before so i kind of knew what to watch for and i didn't let the putty knife go in more than half inch or so because I, I knew i had a little bit of room up here a little bit more and i literally i just got it stuck in the edge and i, I did it had the thing nice and hot, ready to go. Um, stuck the knife in the edge, and then just just carefully, I wore gloves. And you're not supposed to cut towards your body, but yeah, I just pulled it down towards myself in the in the hot putty. Did both sides, did the top, and then um, just stuck some plastic wedges under it. And I tried to work fast while it was still hot, but at the same time, you got to be careful. Got some wedges under it, got the thing lifted back off, and here you go. There's uh, some studs. I drilled it out with a. Uh, a drill um, and then I just took side cutters and cut in um, that was pretty easy to do on this board because it just has this plate here so you, it protects you a lot from you know you're not going to damage stuff because you're cutting down onto this plate um, this one is a little sketchy to reach into then you have to cut this little nub and loose that nub and loose um, popped it off get the board out then underneath of it you have this bad boy that plugs into it in this orientation um you know this is ac main supply before so before you go doing that i like to probe around with the screwdriver and the plugs uh rather let the sparks out there than on my fingers um i'm not sure if that works all the time because of diodes but whatever um I try to do something and also be mindful don't touch the back this like even I could get shocked through this bag um, you know try to be mindful of it it's in a bag just because I want to try to keep this play-doh heat play-doh dust free until I build an enclosure and use this thing because my plan is right now I don't want to try to reinvent the wheel on the, the heating solution they had the, the shared heat between the two um, I didn't like that because this board, obviously, as I just explained, it gets really hot. Now I have all this, which backs up to the board. Uh, trying to watch through the camera here. Uh, backs up to the board, so they, they share the same heat. And I didn't want to try to reinvent the wheel. Um, you know, eventually I'll laser and build an enclosure. Uh, and you got to be careful so it slides out of here. And gets it out and then the other thing is because they got this weird proprietary plug i ordered a ethernet adapter because that would be handy to use but my original plan was to plug it in there and then the ethernet adapter out on the end of it you could plug the dishy into it and then your ethernet cord so i was able to secure that for strain relief now the more i think about it i only need about this much of a box and i'm probably going to trim i just want to ponder it a little more all of this out so I could save this and all this reinforcement and all this heat the dissipation they've designed to do it the little pads match up it's it's happy snappy so that's that's how I'm accomplishing all of this uh, back to what I was originally talking about here when you get to this panel because the the AC board AC to DC board is uh, the screws are recessed I drill them out the same size drill bit I did here Sorry, I don't remember the size. Then I took a larger one, probably three-eighths of an inch. And I just put my drill in real slow, and I just reached down, and I just drilled. And luckily, they all just kind of grabbed and twisted off. So it saved me from having to dig around in there against the PCB. Because, like I said, I do want to save that. Um, so, yeah. So I'll eventually build an enclosure for that. Get rid of this ugly box with no mounting options for off-road use. Um, but I do... I don't know. It's kind of neat. In the meantime... I lasered up before I forget just a simple little cover two air holes uh, I was gonna do small air holes but then I ended up going with the bigger ones so that way when I go to I'll glue this down but when I want to take it apart again I can stick a finger and just rip it off um, 
but anyways, um, the pinout, because this board comes in from the back, these are through holes, so you could actually use regular header pins, standard header pins work. Um, it's silk screened onto the AC board, but I wrote it on here for future reference in case I got to get into this on the road. But earth, ground, 12 volt, uh, LED, uh, 48, 48 ground LED. So I'm not going to use those. Um, and then I was trying to figure out a way to wire this and that I could kind of keep it simple and use many different options for an input or, or at least two different options for an input. The original factory power brick that I'll use when stationary and then uh, um, the DC setup that the we don't need to get into that. I'll put links down in the video for the converters I'm using. Um, so anyways, I wanted to come up with a nice, cool way to have these universal and just have a little plug that hung out of the bottom of this for now. So this is what I did. It's just header pins. I used a, a breadboard and I stuck the header pins through the breadboard to keep everything square while I soldered. And then the paper ass is a, acts as a nice mask along with, uh, this is again my chart at the top of what I want to do. And then because I have this nice little uh, five pin RC car uh, balance lead with silicone wires and the right length. And yeah, I hope it's up to the load. Um, I probably should have did the math on the wire gauge, whatever. Uh, we'll see if smoke comes out. Um, and then, so anyways, my pin out is 48, 12, ground, ground, and earth. I did a little bit of probing um grounds are shared on both the wi-fi board and or the router board and the ac they're both shared they're common and so are the 48 volt pins um so that's why i tied them together um it, i would maybe instead of running the extra earth and it, it, this earth is kind of there's a little bit of resistance to the ground pins but i'm going to run this to the chassis of the truck so i have earth earth um or that that will be my earth or maybe for stationary use or i don't know i just felt like i needed it uh 48 those are shared together the grounds are shared together and 12s out here so anyways that will now plug into the back of my board here um i left it all open but i'm going to glue i cut down the led size pins i just put them in there for orientation but i'm going to glue the edges of this with uh, super glue and then little pieces of uh, plastic between the, the voltage differences here and then pop the whole thing in electrical, electrical tape um, once it's on here. I'll glue it here, super glue it here, then I'll pot it all onto the back of this board because um, there's no components I'm worried about pulling off in case I do have to remove it, but it'll be semi-permanent because I'll still use this pigtail when I move it into its own box, so there, there should be no reason to get into this. So anyways, I hope that answers your questions uh, and enlightens you a little bit more to what is going on inside of this board. Um, you could use little screws like this to hold it all back down. There is other ways to do this. Uh, the only other video I saw out on the net is the guy used, uh, it's a great video, a uh, great reference. So check it out. If I knew his name right now, I'd reference it. Um, somebody's workshop kevin's workshop um i don't know but it's it's a cool little video um so that's it got most of my information here um but yeah i'll eventually he like he said he'll he did on the the other side some wi-fi heat sinks and i had some like that but like i said i'm this is an off-road use thing and i'm very much we're not just standard rv in and i'm very much worried about vibration and everything and uh the SpaceX team did all the nice engineering for this case and the heat sinks, <clears throat> and they figured it was adequate with the AC board attached. So I figured without an AC board in here and actual ventilation, this thing should be uh, happy. So anyways, Adventure Brad out. I hope you guys got something out of this.